What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I've got an Inteleon team created by VG Corey over on the Pokesports Discord. Now, Inteleon was my favorite pick for starter back in Gen 8. I absolutely adored Sobble, and I'm kind of sad that it ended up being the least significant competitively. But it has some stuff it can do. This one is Choice Scarf with U-Turn to proc this Maridon's weakness policy with Terra Grass. Uh, Soak to turn things into water types so that Maridon can blow them up. Or Whimsicott with Grass Knot or Incineroar with Trailblaze. That doesn't do much damage though. Uh, Icy Wind for some speed control and Snipe Shot, its signature move. Snipe Shot is great, especially nowadays because water types don't get good accurate moves most of the time. It's an 80 base power, 100 accuracy, high crit special water move that also ignores redirection. So if you bring in like a Gastrodon or you try to use Follow Me, Inteleon doesn't care. It'll just still hit the other target. To round out this team, we've got an Assault Vest Incineroar with Terra Grass Trailblaze and no pivot move. It's a little weird. Iron Valiant to take advantage of the electric terrain and provide wide guard and feint support. Whimsicott for speed control. Uh, this one has Grass Knot to attack because it pairs well with Soak. And Ting Lu, just a pretty normal Ting Lu, except the AV's on Incineroar, so Ting Lu has a Rocky Helmet. But anyways, I'm super excited to play Inteleon, so let's get on to it. Alright, we've got a Shadow Rider, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Amoongus, Urshifu, Raging Bolt. Boring looking team. Uh, they have Rillaboom, they're gonna bring that. They have Shadow Rider, they're gonna bring that. I'm not 100% sure what else they'll want. I know I want my Incineroar, maybe even my Ting Lu. Ting Lu seems pretty good. Uh, but they can threaten it with Urshifu, force me to Terra, then it's not quite as good. Same with Ensign, forcing it to Terra with Urshifu. Urshifu, Urshifu, Urshifu. Urshifu's a problem. We have better speed control with Whimsicott though. So I kind of like Whimsicott lead. I wish Incineroar had a pivot move. But Whimsicott, Ting Lu, Inteleon, Maridon? Does that work? Uh, Inteleon speed control as well with Icy Wind ain't bad. I know I want Whimsicott, one of the dark types, Inteleon, Maridon. The question is which dark type? Probably the fake out one gets me more. Because I can do some damage, I can just lead Whimsicott, Incineroar and start doing damage with Incineroar if I need to. It's 86 speed, it's not super fast. 86 times 2 is 160 plus 12, 172. That's pretty fast. Ooh, Soul Blades! Too bad you couldn't get him to look at the camera. I know how it is. Double Grass Lead. Disgusting. Alright, Speed Tears. Rillaboom first. How obvious is it that I want to switch in to Maridon? Super obvious, right? But who do I want to switch into Maridon? Incineroar? Maybe, maybe I want to swap Whimsicott into Maridon. If I swap Whimsicott into Maridon, I'm safe from spores. And I can start doing damage to the Rillaboom. Yeah, I don't hate that. I'll get my Tailwind later. Sounds like you want to play a slow game, so I I'm gonna have to conserve my Tailwind turns. Conserve my Whimsicott for later in the game, so when I'm actually in position to start doing damage. Not that I can't do damage this turn, I'm gonna do some damage this turn, I hope. You could fake out Incin, you could U turn out. Big but what's Amoongus doing? Holland Puff. Just for some chip damage? Okay. Alright, who do I want to hit on the switch? Do you think uh, they have Raging Bolt? Dragon Pulse plus a knockoff hits anything pretty hard on the swap. And if they U-turn out, they take the Dragon Pulse first. Yeah, I, I like just doing some damage. Just start chipping away. Amoongus just protects anyway. Cool. Get some 
damage. Good damage, really good. And the U-turn out. Maridon is getting chipped a bit. Which is a little annoying, but at least I know Amoongus ain't doing nothing here. Now, the floodgates of Spore are about to open up for them. Just go into Shadow Rider. Just do it. Just throw your life away here. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't want to take a knockoff. Though if your Bolt has, like, booster energy, you don't take much from knockoff. Well, th this is hard. If it's Urshifu, it's free. So you would just do that if you have Urshifu. I have to assume your horse is your is your fourth Pokemon, so it's the question of what's your third Pokemon. It is Shifu, and you are no longer Scarfed. If you were Scarfed at all. Yeah, no Scarf for you. Alright. This is a great position to Terra Grass. That way, if they bring in Rillaboom, I can't get Spore. And if they stay in Enrage Powder, I can Electro Drift and destroy their Urshifu. And I'm gonna get Incineroar out of here into probably Whimsicott would be good. Inteleon also feels pretty safe, but Whimsicott's immune to Spore. I don't know if they would try to Spore this slot, but they might try to Spore or Rage Powder, which I can Encore. Okay, they're just going into Rillaboom, that's fine. Rillaboom probably goes down to this, but if it doesn't, that's fine. And also, I actually appreciate the healing, so thank you. And if you actually Pollen Puff my Maridon, you boost me, which is awesome. And I can always just protect on their Fake Out turn and Encore them into it and start just going after the other slot. Because I no longer really am that worried about Amoongus. I never was. Amoongus feels like a weird bring into a Maridon team, in general. And they have a No Scarf Urshifu, and they have... a little bit of a Rillaboom left. Aw, oh, man. Spore, nah. Doesn't affect Maridon. Okay, good Terra. I think I will go ahead and... Electro Drift Rillaboom again. While encoring the Amoongus. Uh, I could have also Dragon Pulse Grass Knotted. Uh, do I like that better? Maybe. Because I feel like this might bait them into Pollen Puffing into my Maridon. Which would give me a boost that I like. But now they are stuck doing nothing, so this is actually pretty good. Alright, so I get a free hit on any slot I want here. Very, very free. Would they give up Rillaboom? Will they swap Amoongus? Maybe here I go for Dragon Pulse into Amoongus and Grass Knot into Rillaboom. Yeah, I don't hate that. Grass Knot plus the terrain plus Rillaboom's heavy, right? It's very low health. This might be able to take it. And if they go into Urshifu, that'll do a lot of damage. It's Calyrex. Okay. Uh, do they also swap the other slot? They also swap into Urshifu, but I didn't catch the Urshifu coming in. Kinda sad. Let's see how much Grass Knot can do. Hopefully it's good damage. That's okay! Alright, so what do I want to do in this position? Uh, I'd be a little worried about, like, Aqua Jet into Whimsicott plus Astral Barrage. How much do I think Electro Drift Tailwind? Do I think that gets me a lot? 
think that gets me pretty far, honestly. Electro Drift. This seems risky, but I'm gonna Electro Drift and bring in Incineroar. I'm really holding on to this Whimsicott. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right play. I really don't. If I can't take an Astral Barrage, I may have just thrown. Oh, they just Nasty Plot. That's fine then. How much does Electro Drift do to you? Good damage. Very solid. And you turn into Maridon. Thank you for the boost. All right. Well, now I've revealed what <laughs> my what my item is. You get a plus two. I get a plus two. Fair is fair, right? And here's a Moongus. Alright, is there any chance Amoongus goes for Pollen Puff into my Incineroar? I doubt it. I'm gonna protect and bring in Whimsicott. Whimsicott will live on its Sash and be able to get up Tailwind. And then I can actually start threatening. Uh, could they be attacking plus side Pollen Puff? No, that'd be risky. Yeah, they're just going for Rage Powder. So just so Incineroar can't hit their Calyrex. That makes perfect sense. Boom, 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 boom. Whimsicott's at 1 HP. Oh no, poor Whimsicott. Grass is gone, that's sad. Uh, but what can they do? They can protect Calyrex and get in a fake out partner. I want to go for an Electro Drift into Calyrex, and I want a Tailwind. They could protect and knock out Whimsicott, but that just gets me into another Pokemon. I think this is fine. Calyrex does protect. But now you have to take out Whimsicott. This is a good game. They're, they're playing real hard. They're playing really hard. And a Pollen Pump into Maridon. It doesn't do nearly enough. Seven one eighty four. All right. Unfortunately, Whimsicott goes second. I think I do just go for Electro Drift into Calyrex and probably Endeavor into the Amoongus slot. Uh, Calyrex is swapping. Okay, so they want Calyrex to come back later after they get rid of Baridon. But they're going to give me Urshiku and most of Amoongus to do it. Um, I think that's okay, because I still have Incineroar left, which is great, into the whole rest of your team. Uh, do you have Rocky Helmet on your Amoongus? That would be a little annoying. You do. Okay, so both of my Pokémon go down. But Inteleon... and Incineroar might be able to handle this. Because right now you have to get into Rillaboom or your Calyrex, not both. All right, Inteleon, it's your time to shine. Did I take out Rillaboom yet? Is Rillaboom on low health? I remember you turned out. This game has been going on for a while. It's a good game. Yeah, they're thinking real hard about who to bring in here. You probably want your fake out turn. 
I need to check the board state though, because I, I, I've been forgetting what's going on. Oh, uh, it's just Calyrex, okay. Alright, um... Yeah, they do have their Rillaboom left. They probably don't know Snipe Shot ignores Redirection. So I think the play here is just Snipe Shot the Calyrex. And Flare Blitz the Amoongus. I think that's the play. Um, what other play do I have? There's not really any way around letting Rillaboom get in. Because they could, they could pretty easily protect Calyrex and get Rillaboom in by losing Amoongus. I could read that and I could throw a fake out into Calyrex. Oh, are they going to be Terra Water? Oh, it's Terra Fairy. No, that doesn't make a difference. Okay. I still get this. That means they're not protecting. So I get the Snipe Shot and that should take them out. They're going to Rage Powder. Which I did not block with Fake Out, but could have. And then Snipe Shot does its thing. Boom! Bye, Calyrex. Get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Inteleon, let's go! Taking down the most powerful Pokemon in the game. Because you don't care about Mushrooms. Goodbye, Mushroom. Snipe Shot. Doing a Snipe Shot thing. Love it. Uh, now we still gotta beat Rillaboom, but that should be light work for instance. That's what he's all about. Two star- three starters on the field to end this game, too. Uh, you were low health, right? Oh, very low health. Yeah, you can't even take a snipe shot. You need to grassy glide, meaning I can flare blitz. So, nothing you can do. Snipe shot. Flare blitz. You already burned Terra. Let's see, does that take out Inteleon? <laughs> it does! <laughs> All right, Intellion, you did great. You took out the most important thing, and we come out victorious. Whew, that was a really tough match. And a critical hit to seal the deal. Bye, Rillaboom. You're not the best starter. Incin is. I mean, Intellion is. I mean, Incin is. Let's be real. GG's. All right, here we've got Rillaboom, Regidrago, uh, Gouging Fire, Iron Crown, Groudon, and Yan Mega. I don't know what to think about this. This is cool. Uh, do any of them get gravity? I think maybe Crown gets gravity. Uh, when I see Yan Mega, I think gravity hypnosis. Plus, Groudon appreciates gravity as well. Uh, so I think a good start would just be faster than them. I think Inteleon's really fast, right? Oh, that's so fast. Alright, an Inteleon lead seems great, then. Uh, I'm a little worried about... Hypnosis won't work with Electric Terrain. That's good. Uh, I do worry a little bit about Groudon, but we have Grass Terra Maridon, so that's great. So I think Maridon Inteleon, as a lead, just start doing stuff? Sounds fun. Uh, with Regidrago and Groudon, Valiant could be good. So could Winsicott, of course. Uh, do we really need Tailwind? I don't know how much speed control they have other than Yan Mega and some priority moves. Incineroar seems good. They have at least two Intimidable Mons that they will definitely try to bring to counter my terrain. And then one of the fairies. I'm gonna go with Valiant. I'm not sure if Valiant's the right call, but I just don't think I need as much speed control. Encore could be good, but Wide Card could also be very good. So we'll see. And they don't have a Trainer card. Boo. I'm not too worried about losing Terrain. Because if I get the Weakness Policy, I'll still be really strong. Yeah, is that is that going to be Gravity plus something? Yeah, Quark Drive on that thing. Boost its speed. Alright, so Iron Crown. 
has only 98 base speed. Inteleon will be faster. I think I just Terra Grass Dragon Pulse the Groudon and side U-turn into Valiant. Terra Grass Dragon Pulse U-turn into Maridon. I think Soak could also work here, but I could see Groudon going for a Terra. Well, I don't know. I I'd be worried about Groudon going for some sort of Terra. Aw, uh, they've decided just to bring in Rillaboom and change terrain. Okay. I'm Terrastalizing first, so that doesn't surprise anybody. And now that I see that you have Rillaboom, do I want to go into Ensign? I don't know if this Ensign's built to take a hit. But they're gonna let us hit Groudon. Does plus two Dragon Pulse without terrain KO a Groudon? I want to say oh, that's 190. I want to say no. I think Groudon could eat this, so I actually want to go to Valiant. So I don't want to risk losing Incineroar right here. Now let's look at this Incineroar stats. That's not a lot of physical defense. Precipice Blades should be able to take it out. So I want to go to Valiant. Valiant should be able to take a Precipice Blades. If that is what's coming out here. Plus it's shiny and very pretty. Yeah, that doesn't take out Groudon. And it is just Precipice Blades, though. Right, I can eat that. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Whoa, we. What was that damage? Groudon! What, what kind of damage was that? That ain't no clear amulet, Groudon. Alright, Incineroar, you're up. That is not no clear amulet, Groudon. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, that ain't no clear amulet grout on. What? Oh my goodness. Alright, if they go fake out on Incineroar, I can Dragon Pulse their grout on. If they go fake out on Maridon, I can fake out their grout on. Yeah. Okay, Groudon's just swapping. I assume the Rillaboom's gonna go for a fake out. Uh, and it better be into Maridon, otherwise I'm gonna take your gouging fire here. Yeah, it is. Okay. That is fine. I can go ahead and take speed control away from you by you turning out and getting into my Icy Wind. So I'm gonna protect, and I'm going to... Oh, I don't have U-Turn. Okay. I have Trailblaze instead. So I need to protect and hard bring in Inteleon? No. I think I'll actually instead take this opportunity to try to take out Rillaboom. With a Flare Blitz. If I can get rid of Rillaboom, that'd be nice. Uh, they might try to U-Turn, but they would U-Turn into Maridon. Oh, they tried to Flare Blitz into Marana. Ah, that would've hurt. <laughs> and they go for High Force Power and Instant. We should eat that well, yeah. And I will trade that little bit of chip for a whole Rillaboom. Thank you! And that's a lot of chip now. I'm quite scared of the situation I've gotten myself into. Alright. What do they got? Is it just back into ground on here? That makes sense. Uh, what can I do about Precipice Blades and Flare Blitz? Sun is going away soonish. I could dodge. Uh, I think I need to get Maridon out into Inteleon. I can't afford to just lose both Pokemon here. Inteleon is great, but can't clean up. Uh, and then I'll probably lose Incineroar. But I'll try to take Groudon with me in case Incineroar dodges. Oh boy. And they have... They probably don't have booster energy on the fire on the fire guy, so maybe we can protect out the rest of the sun. 
Wow, that does so much damage. And it's just high horsepower in Incineroar. Okay, that means we keep Inteleon. That's great! <laughs> that actually works perfectly. Because Inteleon should be the fastest thing on the field, confirmed by the grass. Icy Wind should be able to knock out Groudon and bring Gouging Fire down to a reasonable speed stat for Maridon to finish it off. Uh, the problem now is Terra types. They still have Terra. Uh, I need to throw Icy Wind. I don't see a win con where I don't. And then I don't have an item or a boost at all. No, Groudon's gonna be attacking until- I need to Icy Wind? And I can afford to protect here. I don't think they go after Inteleon with their Gouging Fire. But they might reveal a Terra here. And now that I get an Icy Wind down on Crown, I should be able to outspeed that as well. No Terra! Show me the Terra! Alright, Icy Wind. It has to be a Flare Blitz into Maridon. Right? Oh. Oh, they're Clear Amulet! Oh no! Oh no, I can't win. They get Groudon back in and they win. They're Clear Amulet. Or they could be Covert Cloak, but that means I don't get the speed drop. They bring back If they bring back in Groudon right here, they can Flare Blitz. I have no choice but to Icy Wind. My win condition is they don't do that for some reason. But even if they don't, how do I survive? Oh man. Yep, they see it, they see it too. They get the speed boost back, they flare blitz, and then Inteleon versus the world. Inteleon's never gonna beat Iron Crown. The icy winds are adding up on these other guys. I'm never I was I can't catch the I can't catch it. What could I have done? Could I have snipe shotted? Bring it in a little range where it goes down to this and then crit a snipe shot? No, not in the not in the sun. Ah oh, man. Good game. That was a fun one. All came down to that item too. Well, I don't know about all came down to. I, there's still a chance Iron Crown could have pulled off a W there for you. But it was really close. And I still don't get to see your Terra, but that's okay. No reason for you to click it now. Goodbye. Inteleon, I'm gonna you're gonna stay standing at the end of this. Battles cancelled. GG's. Did they have a good trainer card? No, they didn't have any trainer card. Come on. Alright, we've got a Kali Shadow, Fluttermane, Entei, Urshifu, Whimsicott, and Amoongus. They've got a lot of speed control. They've got a very fast Pokemon, and they've got a Whimsicott. I have my own Whimsicott, but I don't think speed is going to be the way to win. Uh, they don't have Rillaboom to change the terrain, so I doubt they would bring Amoongus. So we're looking at the their Whimsicott, their Shadow, and then two of Fluttermane, Entei, Urshifu. Urshifu seems important to them, so they're going to bring Urshifu. And then I would guess Fluttermane. So I think Entei's on the bench. I th I'm thinking it's the two ghosts, Urshifu, Whimsicott. How do I beat those? Incineroar is good into everything that's not Urshifu. Actually, it's really good into everything that's not Urshifu. So maybe I just lead Incineroar. Yeah, an Incineroar lead, and something that kills Urshifu, Maridon. Uh, with Inteleon and... Do I even bring my own Whimsicott? I, could, I should just use Inteleon for speed control and accept that their team is mostly faster. 
But I guess Whimsicott is better into their Urshifu than like Ting Lu is. But Ting Lu, as just a backup against their Calyrex, seems solid. So I actually want to bring Ting Lu. It also gives me something to potentially Parabolic Charge next to, even though it weakens the move. It could be good. <laughs> Scream tail. Oh, all right. Hope I get two snipe shot things. Whimsicott Calyrex. That's it. I'm going right into Tinglu. Don't care. Uh, do I want to hit the Whimsicott? Not really. What do I click with Incineroar? I think knockoff is fine. It forces the Terra. I don't take recoil if I get something wrong. It punishes a swap. It gets rid of their item, whatever it is. And I'm gonna bring in Tinglu hard. I'm not even gonna protect first. I don't want them to know what my Maridon is. Showing Protect reveals a lot of information about Maridon. Though it would have been nice to like Protect and then bait the Encore there and then bring out Ting Lu. Okay, we get the Terra, fine. Knockoff isn't gonna do much, but it will remove your item. And you are Terra Fairy, standard. That's fine. Uh, Poison Ting Lu could be good though. Oh, I wonder if it's just a draining ca Oh, fake tears! Yikes! That would have been scary. Oh, and Psychic? Oh, I'm glad I brought in Ting Lu then. Alright, get rid of that item, please. You have Psychic, is that Specs? No, it's Life Orb, okay. Uh, you have Psychic, which is annoying. And Life Orb, which means you probably have Protect. Astral Barrage, Psychic, Draining Kiss? That makes sense. Uh, Terra Poison Heavy Slam plus Flare Blitz sounds nice. So then the turn after that they could Fake Tears and Draining Kiss, or Fake Tears and Psychic. I'm just gonna not Terra yet. Yeah, they do go for Draining Kiss. Uh, shouldn't do too- oh, that doesn't do too much damage. No, that's okay. I'm fine with that. The double up into Calyrex should take it. Oh, you take Rocky Helmet Chip from that too. That's funny. And a Moonblast. Wow, I should've just Terra'd, but if I can get rid of your Calyrex without using my Terra, that's great. Puts me in a really good position. I wish Incineroar could have gone second, but like, he's just faster. It's heavy Slam, I don't know if it would have Oko'd. A Life Orb set maybe isn't that bulky, so maybe, but I wouldn't usually expect that to Oko. There's Urshifu. Terra Grass time. Um, that's a six, that's a 90 power? That's pretty good. I'll, I'll trailblaze an Urshifu. That's funny. No one's gonna ever see that coming. Uh, and then do I want to go into Maridon or Inteleon? I think I want to go into Inteleon. It could be a Moonblast coming. Or it could be a Surging Strikes. Inteleon could, should be able to take either one of those. Maybe not both, but either one. And I'm quite fast. They, they have felt no need to set Tailwind so far. And they may never feel a need, so Scarf and Teleon could catch them off guard. That's right, I'm Grass Ensign. Deal with it. And we know you got Fake Tears and Moon Blast, so you probably don't have like weird stuff like Encore. Yeah, got the Surging Strikes there, nice. You're also fast, so you're Scarf. So you're gonna have to do that move again. I assume you live this. I, I have to assume you live this. This isn't a super strong move. It's not like a max attack Ensign. Moonblast does less than half? 
Less than half, let's go. Awesome. Uh, oh no, that does less than half too. That's sad. Alright, uh, who could they have left? The Urshifu might want to swap. Would be Entei or Fluttermane? An Entei swap would be pretty safe. I think I just go for another Trailblaze. And Icy Wind. Oh, they set Tailwind now, okay. Uh, I guess you must be surging strikes in the other slot, thinking you can KO from here. It'll be close, but I think you got it. 56, half of 56 is 28. Ho oh, ho, we live! Way to go, Inteleon. Uh, and they set up Tailwind, so the Icy Wind isn't that useful, actually. But the little bit of chip will put Urshifu into KO range, so that's good. And it breaks a potential Sash on the Whimsicott. Mm, doesn't look like it was Sash on the Whimsicott, it's Cobra Club. Or Clear Amulet, I guess, but it's not Clear Amulet. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Grass, Trailblaze, Incineroar. Uh, I guess Terra Blast would be stronger, but I got a little bit of speed off of that. And it's just Fluttermane. Huh. With a speed boost. Okay. Do I have the juice to win this game? I don't know. Inteleon's gonna be slower even after Tailwind goes down. I might not have the juice to win this. We get Fluttermane on its own. That would be best. So I'm gonna Flitter Blitz there, and I'm gonna bring in Ting Lu to minimize what they can do to my Incineroar. Yeah, because I think Fluttermane cannot beat Maridon one on one. Because we'll get the weakness policy boost and then hit you really hard. And you're just speed booster, you don't have. Oh boy, they're going after Incin really hard. Uh, with Icy Wind, though. Yeah, we take that breezily. You didn't take any KOs there. Get out of here, Wimmy. Boom. Bye bye. And now, what I want is I want to get Ting Lu on the field next to Maridon. So I'll let you take Incineroar and Inteleon, if you want them. Battle canceled, they saw it, Inteleon got them. Let's go. That was a fun match, actually. And that's a cool card. Alrighty, we got Cali Ice, Grass Pawn, Chiyu Fluttermane, Blood Moon Bear, and Female Indeedee. Two follow me options, two trick room options, maybe three if they have it on Fluttermane. Um, a way to reset terrain, unfortunately. A redirector, unfortunately. Ooh. What is my plan going to be into Cali Ice? Uh, like Incineroar can take a hit. Could even lead Incineroar, swap in Maridon. Maridon's Terra type, though, leaves it weak to ice. Um, Valiant wouldn't be bad for all those spread moves. Just having wide guard. So maybe I just go with Maridon and Inteleon? Bring in Valiant for spread moves and Incineroar? I want to lead Incineroar, Inteleon with Maridon, Valiant in the back. That way I can potentially swap in and get a fake out. Ting Lu seems pretty nice actually, hold on. Ting Lu, Ensign, Inteleon, Maridon, we made it! Okay, good. Uh, I I'm not gonna have the wide guard from Valiant, but I feel like this person's pretty high on ladder, they're gonna see that coming. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just not do that plan at all. And ooh, got the tell. Okay. Is that a shiny got the tell? It's hard to tell sometimes. It's hard to got the tell if it's shiny. I'm so funny. Uh, Ting Lu and Cineroar versus Chi Yu and the horse, of course. That's a weird lead. I don't know what that means. Uh, Beads of Ruin comes out before Intimidate. Oh, I get the Intimidate! Oh! Oh, Incineroar was huge then. Wow. Okay, um, Chi Yu doesn't threaten a single thing, so I can put everything I want into that horse. Wow. Okay, so that's what their Ogre Pond is for, to scare away Incineroars. Well, I wasn't scared. Uh, I don't want to fake out, because they could swap. I want to... Uh, should I catch the swap with, like, a Snarl? No. Maybe. Uh, I feel like the fish is probably scared. I want to double up into the horse. So I want to Sand Tomb. And I actually want to knock off. Because I don't know what it's holding if it's not holding the uh, clear amulet. Uh, but we're going to catch something else on the swap. And we're going to knock its item off and we're going to trap it. Who is that? That's Indeedee. Okay. I don't mind you being trapped here. That means I might actually be able to get in Maridon and get rid of your terrain. Uh, and they're going to Terra the Chiyu. It wouldn't be Ghost. Because you're already blocking Fake Out. It's ground. Oh, you're going to try to blow up Incineroar. Good thing we're Assault Vest. Oh, that's good into Maridon too. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's going to hurt a lot, actually. But we should live. Oh, that didn't actually hurt that much. And get rid of you. Or at least your item. Which was Safety Goggles. Okay. And a little bit of a Sand Tomb. Alright. Indeed he's gone. We have terrain control if we want it. Uh, the Tinglu weakening that Terra Blast and the Assault Vest weakening that Terra Blast. Very big. And now Inteleon's in a good position against that. Plus, they don't have the Terra on their horse anymore. Which is now in. Uh, I think I bring in Inteleon on the Incineroar slot, just so I can get another Fake Out later. I'm gonna want to Terra Ting Lu eventually. I think now is as good a time as any. It's where I plan to use that. Yeah, I'll Sand Tomb you. Uh, if I'm gonna Terra... I should weaken up the Chiyu. Terra Snarl. And bring in Inteleon. Inteleon's just a, just my swap that's safer. Uh, I don't want to like get Terra Blasted or Glacial Lanced on Maridon bringing it in. So Inteleon's just a safer pick. Plus, if they don't set Trick Room, I'll be able to snipe down that Chiyu now that they made themselves weak to water. Poison Ting Lu, a classic, of course. Uh, and it is another Terra Blast, so... That shouldn't do too much. Wow, that did do a lot, actually. Okay. And the Glacial Lance. Come on, you both eat this, right? Ooh, Inteleon doesn't eat that, actually. Uh, we can get rid of that attack boost, but wow. Inteleon did not take that double up very well. Bring in Incineroar and get a fake out off by bringing in Maridon. Or I could bring in Maridon, protect it, bring in Incineroar. Yeah. Chiyu is still a threat, but like not enormous threat. So I want to bring in Incineroar and protect. I think that Chiyu would even consider swapping out here, but it doesn't. Okay. You're just gonna keep 
Terra Blasting, because I have a lot of ground weaknesses. <laughs> uh, maybe Terra on the Tinglu wasn't the best call, but took that Glacial Lance really well. Alright, is this going to be a Trick Room, though, is my question. Uh, Terra Blasting into that slot, that's annoying. They just know that that was gonna... And the neutral Glacial Lance, does that take Incineroar? If so, we're in trouble. To be honest. Oh man, that takes Incineroar! They're just doing too much damage! Stop doing too much damage! Okay, well you're back to plus one. That's gonna really, really hurt. Okay. Back to Tinglu the Gourmet. And we need to get rid of that horse. I'm sure Heavy Slam won't do it. I don't know what their speed stat is. It's gotta be stomping. And it's gotta be Electro Drift, even though I'm being weakened by my own Ting Lu right now. Yikes, okay. Yeah, the Chi Yu is actually Scarf. Okay, that explains why it wasn't doing too much damage. But it's definitely gonna- Oh, it's gonna trigger my weakness policy before I get to attack. That's huge. At plus two, I might be able to take out the horse. Though, it's probably Assault Vest, if I had to guess. It hasn't been clicking Trick Room, it doesn't have Clear Amulet. Oh, it lives on just a little! Come on, Ting Lu, outspeed! Oh no, you don't outspeed! That's game. Oh no! <laughs> well, Tinglu will take it out, but that'll be the last thing it ever does. Ah, oh. GG's. And Inteleon showed up, but didn't actually get to do anything. Because Terra Ground, Terra Blast, Chiyu is a thing. That's kind of a cool thing. I'll remember that. Terra Ground, Terra Blast. I mean, this person was extremely high ranked. Oh, and they also have a bear? Yeah. Goodbye! <laughs> Terra Ground, Terra Blast, Chiyu. Really cool. I brought too many ground weaknesses and then couldn't handle the horse. Well, GG. Alright, we've got a Koridon. Oh, Baridon vs. Koridon. They've got Grimmsnarl, Fluttermane, Golden Go, Rock Ogre Pond, and Raging Bolt. So a couple things that take advantage of Sun, but not a full Sun team. I mean, I guess they could have Solar Blade on Ogre Pond. Uh, looks like they might have screens going on, too. Screens and follow me. So how do I want to approach this? Uh, Maridon is really fast compared to what they've got, honestly. Am I max modest? Yes. So Fluttermane's a little bit of an issue. Uh, but I guess I could just set Tailwind and be faster than their team. They don't really have any way to turn off Maridon either, so Maridon plus Whimsicott works. Inteleon in the back for some sniping and some icy wind as secondary speed control, and to proc Maridon's weakness policy if we need it. And then is Incineroar any good? Or do I want something like Iron Valiant? I mean, Incineroar with an Assault Vest seems pretty good. I just have to worry about Collision Course and... Ivy Cudgel. Yeah, no, Incineroar is fine. Incineroar is fine, honestly. It could even be the lead for just a fake out, but having it in the back is fine too. Yep, this is what I'm going with. Inteleon will get its chance in the back. That's a fine trainer card. You look a little scary up close like that. Oh, even scarier with the mask. You're leaning into the aesthetic. And leading Ogre Pond. Alrighty. What do I want to do here? Do I want to just Tailwind and throw out a big hit? Because they can't turn off my terrain. I think I do. Uh, but I need to Terra so that I don't go down to a Dazzling Green. Electro Drift, Fluttermane. Fluttermanes are probably Sash on this sort of style of team. And I'll set Tailwind. I guess you could click Follow Me. 
but Electro Drift is going to do a lot to Ogre Pound as well. Uh, the thing is, because I'm not like Choice Specs or anything, or Terra Electric, I'm not going to be able to knock out Fluttermane. Alright, it's no follow me. It must be an attack from both. So something's going to go down. Let's hope it's Fluttermane. No, there's no way this knocks out a Fluttermane. What? Is that a crit? No? What? Okay! <laughs> I'll take that! That turn could not have gone better. I guess I didn't need the Terra though. But wow! Okay! Cool! We'll take that. I don't got no problem with that. I have the option to bring in Ensign on the Whimsicott slot to not go down to an Ivy Cudgel. I could also protect Maridon for a turn. Just to bait something into something I can lock with Encore or get de de dealing damage to me so I can endeavor somebody. And then I think I'll just break Ogre Punch sturdy with Grass Knot. Now, if they spiky shield and hit Whimsicott, what a play. I wonder if they feel safe. I wonder if they think because I O code them that I'm Specs. In which case, I could just go for Dragon Pulse. But they've got options. They've got Follow Me. They've got Terra Fire, most likely. Is pretty safe here. They don't know if I have Moonblast. Yeah, they don't know I don't have Moonblast. So they should definitely Terra. Classic Fire, Terra, Koridon. He should have just been a Fire type. Let's be honest. Same with Groudon. Groudon was for a minute back then. Uh, and it is Follow Me. So let me get some Grass Knot damage. Bonk. Eh, that's not much damage, you're pretty light. I could pretty safely go into Incineroar. But what does that get me? Could bring in Ensign there. And just Encore Ogre Pond so Ogre Pond can't do anything. Then I at least get a fake out turn onto Koridon. I don't know. I I'm not playing this aggressively enough because I'm afraid of losing Maridon early. We do see that they're clear amulet. An attack drop on Ogre Pond, plus I'm gonna lock them into follow me. Which they decided to go for anyway, which is fine. They're getting a lot of speed on that Koridon, though. So now they would collision course. But I can fake that out. But all I can do is get, like, a little bit of chip. I could fake out the Ogre Pond and lock Koridon into Flame Charge. Yeah, that makes more sense. That way you can't follow me the Encore. And I get to Encore. All right, playing a little messy. Who are you hitting? Okay, you're hitting the Whimsicott, finally. And you're getting so much speed. You're the fast guy now. Especially because my Tailwind is gone. But you can't hit Incineroar, who can now do whatever he wants to whoever he wants. And I think what he wants to do is... Lair Blitz, your Ogre Pond. Yeah, and then I'll bring in Inteleon. Who can take a Flame Charge, maybe two. Throw a Snipe Shot, maybe. Should work. Uh, 
Ogre Pond just keeps following me. That's fine. Let's see how much Flame jar Charge actually does, though. Like, if this does big damage... Oh my gosh, that does absurd damage. That's not cool. Why is this Koridon going crazy? <laughs> oh lord. At least you can't hit my Incineroar, but like, what good is that gonna do? Now you just bring out something that can hit Incineroar. And you keep going crazy. How many boosts do you have? Three already? Yikes. Uh, but Sun is going away soon. Do I have to sacrifice Whimsicott? Maybe I do. <sighs> yeah, I might have to. Alright, I'm sorry Inteleon, but it's not quite time for you. This is going to be a hard game to recover from, because I did not respect Koridon enough. And I'm not sure how I'm going to stop it. This is going to flame charge my whole team. Well, eventually it's going to be able to stop flame charging, and then I'm going to be in big trouble. Because it got all the speed on its own. Plus a Draco Meteor? Come on, we, we dodged those, right? Ah! Oh, it's a crit! Oh, we don't dodge that at all. And it's a crit? Alright, Encore's over on Koridon. They can do whatever they want. And they will. Is there any way for this to work out? They go for Flame Charge, not KOing my Maridon. Yeah, that's my win con. They go for Flame Charge into Maridon, it doesn't KO. They go for Thunderclap and Inteleon, but I use a status move, Soak. And then with my Weakness Policy proc, I Parabolic Charge, KOing Bolts, doing big damage to Koridon, and healing myself all the way back up. Yeah, that's my win condition. Oh, uh, there's the Thunderclap. Oh, it's just Flare Blitz. There's nothing I can do. That's at Maridon. I'm not gonna eat that. And that is game. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm the one who told them to flame charge over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Uh, I guess when I had the chance, I should have just Dragon Pulsed into them. Get some damage down. Oh, I was not prepared for Koridon. Uh, what do I have that I could have brought? I could have brought... No, I think I brought the right four. I don't think Poison Terra Ting... Poison Terra Ting Lu, maybe. At least it has, like, ground moves. I'd have to save Terra for it. Then I guess terastalizing turn one was also a problem. Yeah, but there's no way to win this now unless they just start attacking themselves. So, GG's. And we're back. I think Inteleon did pretty well. It was a lot of fun to use. It's super frail, which is kind of unfortunate. Inteleon just doesn't have the stats or a good ability. Or really great moves, honestly. But it's okay. It, it's not. It's just not the Rillaboom of the generation. Uh, but either way, I had a blast. Thank you, VG Corey, for making this team. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it too. Go ahead and leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to do that. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, all right, peace. <laughs>